Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Share with you more a bit of my writings. This is, I would guess, you consider prose. Yeah, I guess it's prose. Um, I wrote it probably a week ago, but like, I was. It, it has a lot of redundancies in it. Um, in relation to the other, th my other writings, you know. But you know, I got to thinking. Sometimes you got to hear the message in different ways over and over and over again for it to sink in on um, deeply and on a uh, more intricate and uh, extensive way, you know. So anyway, I'll go ahead and read it. What did I decide to call this one? I'm always bad with names. What's in her name? A rose by any other name would be just as sweet. Uh, so what am I going to name this? Um, I don't know. I'll figure that out when I post it. Let's just read it first. Okay. The old evil forces in this world are being exposed in the full light of God. They can no longer hide their great grids of separation and deception that have kept us all bound for thousands of years. The Christ consciousness is awakening within it all. It cannot be stopped by machinations of science or by propaganda or by any other means. It is a vibrational energy level built into your DNA and your brain. The world of mammon or money and the physical form has absolutely no dominion over these changes. It's going to be a future of enlightened spirituality, compassion, considerateness, no more fear, no more anger. This is what we have to learn to let go of in every respect and always. We will live a person we will live personified within this three-dimensional world in the future maybe hopefully the near future not too far future but in the far future for sure we will live within this three-dimensional world in the full light of god energy within our heart and our souls our compassion and kindness of heart will rule our minds constantly eternally this is the key to becoming the individuals we must eternally be in heaven. This is the key to heaven on earth. And we were all born with it. Amen. 